Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Till midnight tonight on the East Coast of the United States. Where else? And hello, everybody. Everybody, how you doing? What's new, folks? Okay, are you okay? Are you doing all right? All right. Well, anyway, we uh, get going here with another one of our fine little programs. And um, let me see here. Uh, Let's bring in our old friend from t- our Tuesday night friend. Well, what are you doing? You got Gabnet in the background there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it, that's, that's the YouTube. Uh, Wait a minute. Mo- move your move your move your camera down. Camera in. Uh, yeah, you're you're looking. You got your chin. At the uh, is. Uh, you got to yeah. do more. Do more. Got to do more. I got Antifa. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's. Uh, also known as Anti Fata, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, Queen Anon. Queen <laughs> Anon. Q Anon. Yeah. Al Qaeda. I Al Qaeda. Yeah, it's very good. Hey, listen, move your camera. Will you? You just, there we go. Oh, that feels so much better. And cl- it cl- it kill the uh, video in the background because that's going to be annoying to everybody. Okay, there we go. Not what I do. Okay, anyway. So, what? Well, yeah. Something wrong with your audio tonight? Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, Tur- turn it down just a little bit. You might be causing some kind of, I don't know, there's some. Yeah, how's that? No, that's no. Yeah, uh, there's some kind of thing going on there that I don't exactly understand. Uh, well, I, I don't, you know, I don't hear anything different. Just try and talk directly into your mic. Uh, all right, how's that? Yeah, you you've just got some kind of I don't know some kind of uh, little problem going on there. But we'll 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 get my other my other uh, board fixed. Yeah. Uh, haven't gotten around to it. I'm kind of lazy. You should get what the the good one, yeah, the real good one. Oh, and the, and the bad one is is the one you're you're doing this on. Yeah, yeah. And what I'll do is the the, the bad cheap one mm-hmm. will end up going to my office for Zoom meetings. Mm-hmm. And, uh, the good one will end up back on the desk. Uh, yeah. But it it had a problem. Something burned out. And uh, yeah, there's no way you can at least for tonight. Uh, do your audio through your microphone in your in your camera? Can you? Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, it'll probably be a little bit better if you did that than this. There's something going through that board that isn't just right. You know. I am not sure how to do that. You go up to your uh, you go up to your little shield up there, the green shield. shield. Or actually, you can go down. See where it says. Oh uh, wait a minute. Where it's where it says. Uh, oh, where where it says mute. Right there, you have all your all your inputs for your microphone. Oh, okay. Where that little arrow is, yeah. See it? Yeah. Uh, let me. Uh, I'll choose that one. How's that? Okay, we'll do that for tonight. It's uh, okay. It's little, is is that is that working? Yeah, it's a little on the hollow side, but it's you know it's because you're getting the room tone, as it were. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, how you well, doing, my friend? Uh, I'm I'm doing all right. Uh, you know, I'm getting my next COVID shot on the 11th. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm doing a treadmill on the same day, three hours before. So I'll I'll be hanging out at Kaiser. Well, you got what? You got Pfizer? Uh, yes. I, well, I got the Pfizer shot at Kaiser. The Pfizer at Kaiser. Right. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you. Well, see, I'm not getting mine till the 27th. Yeah. Which pisses me off. But then I found something out. You ready for the new statistic? Yeah. Okay. What do you what do you think is the most effective of the vaccines so far out of the three? If you include Johnson and Johnson, their their efficacy rates. Uh, Vicks Vapor Rub. 
Okay, can I give you the efficacy rates? Yeah, after, sure. This is after three weeks. Uh, yeah. Okay, after three I, weeks. I thought Johnson & Johnson was like 60% or something. No, they're 72 after three weeks. Oh, okay. And that's as high as they go. Mm -hmm. Although it is said they can go higher if you it, with time, but they, yeah. they don't know, okay? Yeah. Uh, Pfizer is, at the end of three weeks, 52% efficacy rate. Yeah. Moderna, 80. Yeah, wow. Be uh, is... is is it because the you have the Moderna first shot longer and uh, but you're saying three weeks? Three weeks at the end of three weeks, supposedly hmm. Moderna goes up to eighty percent. And wow, uh, I saw a guy on Meet the Press, and they had the statistics statistics on Meet the Press the other day, and this yeah. guy was a medical guy, and he said, yeah, and what we're finding is that uh, the longer you wait to get the next shot the better it's going to be. Really? Yeah, I mean, they don't want you to wait months and months and months, but if you if you wait 12 weeks or 15 weeks, it may actually improve the effectiveness of the first shot. Well, uh, you know, if we get 95% from either the Moderna or the Pfizer mm -hmm. at the, uh, after the second, a few weeks after the second shot, mm -hmm. I'm happy. Well, here you know? is the, here is the, question. See, here was the big question that was being asked and what was going to be a big, you know, a, a, a question of what we should do. This yeah. being the case, if I'm effective 80 percent after three weeks and you're effective, I think, I think actually, I think after three or four weeks or four weeks, uh, the Pfizer goes up some more, goes up to about 70. OK. Yeah, because you get the second shot. In three no, no. Weeks. Forget about getting the second shot. If you don't get the yeah. second shot. It goes up to about 70, something like that. But oh. the point is what they were bringing up was the question of if there's so few shots available, would it not be better to hold off people on their second shot if they get a certain level of protection on the first shot and wait until we have enough to give them their second shot? Well, they may have no choice, uh, and they may hold off anyway because they don't have it. Yeah. But uh, Pfizer... They just found that they that they can get six shots out of a bottle. Well, they knew that before. Uh, I they, thought it, they thought knew it was that five. before. It's just they haven't made it. They didn't make it official. Yeah, is what they didn't well, do. Okay, so yeah, well, they didn't call me. I mean, I. Uh, I but I know. you know, I'm 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 also you know, uh, I don't want to get this COVID. So I am, uh, you know, I come home, I I check myself. I leave in the morning, I check myself. And, uh, we see, here's you know, sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And which is higher? Which is higher usually? Oh, uh, let me turn the other one on. Okay. See, this is 97 and a half on this. Mm -hmm. And, uh, let, we'll, we'll go with the CVS, uh, special, yeah. uh, thing. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, uh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it beeps mm -hmm. really. It's, those are the fast ones from CVS. Let me see here. What what is it? Ninety seven point two on that, and ninety seven point nine. Yeah, now I'll bet this is in the ninety six. As it may even go higher, because I had my hat on, and I find yeah. when I have my hat on, it's it's not as effective. But let me see here. There we go. Ninety nine point seven. Uh, you know, maybe that's because you got the heat on and no, everything. No, Isn't it it's snowing not, like crazy it's by not, you. It's not the heat. What it is. It's my hat was on. Now, yeah. if I go take my temperature, yeah. okay, this is what drives me, drives you crazy all day, okay? Well, I take my temperature, were, by the way, same, same thermometer. Same, same thermometer. Yeah, well, yeah, okay, wait a minute, hold on a second. And uh, I get to hum now. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, it's mm. dead air time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> If you hum too hard, it'll raise the temperature. Oh, 98.3, it says here. Oh, okay. So that's probably more but accurate. If I do it again, I bet you it yeah. goes to 98.2. That's the way this uh, thermometer works. Yeah, right? or it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. This is a great video, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, you know, this is a tech show now. Mm. Uh, <laughs> 
old men taking the temperature. See, 98.2. I don't know why that happens with this one, but I'll bet now that I've turned on the fan up above here. Okay. Yeah. And now I'll try it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, that says low. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Come on. No? 99.7. Wow. See? All right. Well, it's come down. Oh, no, it didn't come down. No. Now, 97. Oh, see, if you do it here, which is a good place to do it, by the way. Yeah. I thought the temple was the spot you were supposed uh -huh. to hit it. Or well, the synagogue, maybe. 98. Yeah. Okay. Huh? If you do it yeah. here. Yeah. But you see, I mean, that's better than here because here, for some reason, see, it's now it's down to 99.3. And I bet as we talk, if I don't put yeah, the, yeah. if I don't put my cap on, we'll try it in another minute or so. So, well, so my question is, the only reason they're using these at different places is yeah. because it's easier to use and stick in a thermometer in somebody's mouth. Sure, you'd have to clean it every time. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's the reason they use it. But it's not, I don't believe, is accurate. Because if I'm, you know, th this would be more accurate given that I was wearing my cap and my cap was on my head and my head was getting hot from the cap. I was four-tenths of a degree between this and this. I'm now down to 98.4. Oh. See? On this. You, you'll, you'll live. Yeah. 98.4. 98.6. Whatever, mm -hmm. you know. So I mean, it it, I I don't you know I don't know which of these things to believe, okay. Yeah. Uh, but I'll I'll tend to go with this, over, you know. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you know, talking about technology, mm -hmm. uh, I I brought all my uh, comorbidity toys tonight. Uh, you know, I've had this uh, where you prick your finger mm -hmm. and you put a little drop of blood on the thing and it tells you what your uh, blood sugar is. Mm -hmm. I just got this. Mm -hmm. What you do is uh, you run it uh, over a, whoops. 98.2. Down to 98.2 uh, on this one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, 98.2, huh? And I had well, just, by the way, mm -hmm. I'm 92, but I, at 98.2, but I had coffee, hot coffee here. So that could have brought it up. So. Yeah, it could have. Yeah. So uh, this one, instead of poking your finger, mm -hmm. You run it over a sensor, so you got a, a sensor on your arm. Let's see the sensor. Tells, Let's see the sensor on your arm. Okay. Now, does that have a needle that goes in there? Yeah. Yeah, it has a needle. Right, and it stays there for two weeks. Well, I, I just had dinner. See, that, I so, saw these things advertised on television, and I said, I bet there's a needle in that thing. Oh yeah, there's a needle, and each sensor is one hundred and fifty-one dollars, oh, and it lasts two weeks. Uh, and, and then the, this thing is like 300 and something. Uh, Kaiser told me that I don't qualify for it and that I have to pay for it myself. Mm -hmm. So some third party company called me and said, oh, no, you're totally covered. So uh, I'll, I'll see when I get the bill. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this is so much easier, except in the middle of the night, it's got an alarm. Yeah, but I mean, that thing's got to be stuck in your arm, a needle in your arm all the time. You don't feel it. it, it it's oh, I know you pleasure. don't feel it, but I'm saying that th this is instead of, I guess, pricking yourself with a needle five times a day or something. Right, right? exactly. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and then I was doing stuff like, uh, you know what Shakespeare said? He said, unto thy own self be true. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're lying to yourself, who are you lying to? So what I would do is I'd look and I'd say, oh, my sugar's great. Mm -hmm. Then I'd go out and I'd eat a whole bunch of carbs, run my sugar up to the uh, to the sky, but I wouldn't test. So, yeah. you know, uh, when somebody would look at my numbers, they'd say, oh, those are great numbers until they test my A1C. Uh, there's, there's other stuff. What is your you AOC? <laughs> it's, uh, she's OAC, knockers. excuse me, your OAC. Uh, uh, it was uh, um, 6.9 or 7. Well, this is really, now, by the way, we're up to about 27 viewers now with this. It's, uh, this oh, must wow. really be boring the crap out of them. Well, um, I got 97% oxygen. Yeah. 98.3. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, my heart beats at 80. Did you get one of these yet? No, I can get one of those. Oh, all uh, right. You, you got to get one. Let me see here. Uh, Try my temperature again. Oh, I mean, I had some coffee. It's too. How, how about one of these? 
What? Well, um, I have one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like it when it gets tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. And yeah. Tighter. yeah. 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 But you're not supposed to put it around your neck. No. No, that's not. That's not. That's not any good. But anyway, see, I mean, this is what happens with this thing. And now that I've got a fan up above me, see, it's like ninety-eight one. So ninety-seven it, nine. You beat me. Mm -hmm. I, I got ninety-seven nine. So you you beat me. No, ninety-eight one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you see what I'm saying? I mean, you can't tell. I mean, all you know is that you either do or you don't have a fever, and you don't have a fever, yeah. and neither do I. Even the ninety-nine point nine that I had was not a fever yeah. yet. I think a hundred point five is considered a fever. Well, are you getting cabin fever? Because uh, I heard it's uh, snowing pretty hard in your neck. Oh of the woods. God! Well, I'm so used to not going out anyway. What does it matter? Yeah, but you, know? you look outside, is there any traffic, uh, you know? Uh, is There's it, traffic you know? out there. I mean, uh, last night it was it was building up and building up and building up, and there was, of course, very little traffic out there then, but there was traffic mm -hmm. out there today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see, how many minutes do we have here? Nine. Uh, Are you counting the minutes? I mean, I make... No, I no, make, I, I, make, I, I, I didn't want to introduce anything too soon. Uh, <laughs> what have you heard? What have you heard about the uh, uh, the deaths in uh, assisted living homes uh, uh, being inflated? Uh, no, being to the numbers. No, being deflated. No, well, yeah, yeah he yeah. deflated them, but they're actually uh, higher than. Uh, what uh, Como I, I don't. I'll tell you. I don't know. Uh, uh, Como comorbidity. Comorbidity. Yeah. <laughs> I got. I got those. <laughs> comorbidity. I yeah, just thought it's of like that. Uh, Al Qaeda. No, but he was causing <laughs> comorbidity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know what to think. To be honest with you, I'm not that fond of him lately. Okay. Yeah. Because I think he's been making a lot of mistakes with this whole handling of the of the COVID thing now. And there are some stories that he uh, he let go of eight doctors early on because they didn't agree with him. You know, and and that kind of reminds me of what went on in the Trump administration, and then he was sitting there, you know, exoriating uh, the uh, the Trump administration for doing that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, uh, it, it's funny. That's that's what uh, these guys do is they accuse the other people of doing exactly what they were doing. Yeah, but you do you remember early but, but, on? But, but, but he said back uh, what he has said in the past was the reason he returned those people to the homes. Was right. because that's what the CDC suggested. The reason they couldn't keep them in the hospital is because they were no longer sick, right. but they maybe they still tested positive or whatever, but they, they were no longer sick, and the hospital needed, desperately needed the beds. So they sent them back to the homes. Well, where they should have really, what they should have really done was not Javits send them back the to the ship. homes, send them to some other place that Javits was out of the, the way the, or wherever. To let that, them, yeah. That was 4,000 beds between those two places. Yeah, but uh, he didn't do that. He sent them back to the homes. And uh, then some of those people who died uh, in the hospital were, they just said they died in the hospital. They didn't say they were died in a nursing home. And that's where the right. numbers were deflated. Okay. Right. All right. Now, so. do you remember uh, uh, on the other show, uh, on the other part of the show, I had said that there were like 14,000 uh, uh, deaths in um, uh, in assisted living homes. Mm -hmm. And you said, no, 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 the number is 7,000. And uh, now I think it, it, they were right in, in what I mimicked, which was the 14,000. No, I think that's a little high. I, I think what they're saying is, is that it was, I don't know how many more now. I, you know, it, yeah. it, it's all who you talk to anyway. I mean, it's not yeah. a... It's not a uh, well, I, I, I like what Como said. He says, hey, what's it matter? You die in the hospital. You die in the, in the old age home. Yeah. You're still dead. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. I felt that was an awfully New York answer. Uh, yeah. Hey, look, it's still dead. What does it matter? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but I, uh, you know, I haven't been that happy with Cuomo lately. Uh, I, I just think he's been handling it badly. Uh, I, uh, I consider the fact that I'm not getting my shot after four weeks uh, a big mistake. 
And, uh, you know, and that's that's a mistake of the city because I, I, I'm going with one of the city outlets, not one of the state outlets. But when they tell us we don't have enough medicine to take care of, you don't have enough vaccines uh, to take care of everybody. And then they're saying, and we just opened up Yankee Stadium and there you can go down there to get the shot. What? You this, know, if, if you don't I open don't... up Yankee Stadium till you can take care of the school down the street right. from me. Well, this is what I don't understand. Uh, early on, they were saying that they were only using 30 or 40 percent of the vaccines available. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, mayor de Blasio said, mm -hmm. well, I want to start giving it to other other people if uh, the uh, first responders and the uh, medical people aren't going to take advantage of it. Right. And then Cuomo came down on him saying, no, 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 you can't do that. But are they still giving out these vaccines and not using 40 or 50 percent no of they're using they they they're trying to use up everything they have you know yeah. so uh, yeah. uh of course we haven't been giving anything out for the last couple of days because of the uh of the snowstorm snow. yeah because you know god for, god forbid a person right should mm -hmm. go and get himself uh well it's like when i got my we got my shot and we were standing out for two for about two hours in the line oh that would be awful in this storm well you no know, what I, what i said to the woman as she walked by i said you know from the inside i said what are the chances i'm going to die of pneumonia before covid <laughs> yeah no, yeah. that, uh, I mean, true. I'm. I hope the next second shot we get, we don't have to wait that long, and they've got that all taken care of. Now, now. your appointment is four weeks, uh, five weeks from now. No, it's not five now, weeks. Four, four, now, the people that had appointments during the show, snowstorm. Are they just being moved a couple of days? They're so being moved a couple of days. There's some way they're rejiggering it and everything. Yeah. You know? I think it might send them to another place near them or something that they open up just for that, you know, to catch yeah. up on those shots. I don't know how they're handling it. I'm sure uh, however they're handling it, they're doing a lousy job of it. Yeah, okay. I, I think there are some states where uh, they're sending the vaccine and the needle uh, and so that uh, it, can, it can be administered. I, I guess beforehand... They were just sending the vaccine, and the needle had to be supplied by someone else or the hospital. I don't, I don't know uh, what the story is on there, but I think they're they're, they're now sending needles every a needle for every shot. Okay. Yeah, and they've so. said now, of course, uh, 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 maybe with some new needles or whatever, they can get six shots out of a Pfizer bottle. Moderna, right, it's still, Moderna, it's still the five, you know, yeah. but. Uh, I'm just happy with Moderna because I know that this is going to, uh, you know, I'm going four and five and a half weeks between the first yeah. shot and the second shot. And it's nice to know that my protection after about three weeks is going to be 80 percent. So okay. you believe what they're telling you about the delay. And I'm I'm supposed to believe that they're not watering down the Pfizer shot to give you six you know, well, they're not watering it down. They're just, <laughs> it's just a, well, I think what Pfizer did, OK, yeah. is they put more in each bottle than was needed in case there was a missed shot or something or whatever, you know. Mm. And so they, they just it's the way they apportioned it. They accommodated the fact that maybe you had to have another one just in case something happened with that bottle. I, I think they just had, they got a deal on bigger bottles and they filled them up by mistake. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. They're nice jugs is what they are. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, um, otherwise, you know, I mean, I, we could talk about Biden, but it's too early. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll give him a honeymoon next week. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> They, you know, and uh, there uh, they're only a few hundred thousand signatures away from uh, uh, taking Gavin Newsom's career away from him. Oh, really? You know, they, I, I didn't yeah, know about that. Yeah, I think they have one point three and they need or and they need. You know, I'm so, I'm, I'm so against that. You know, my feeling yeah. is a guy ran. He won. No buyer's remorse is allowed. OK. You know, they did this once before. Didn't they learn that was a bad thing to do? You wound up with Schwartz and Nager. Okay. Uh, what Gray, Gray Davis, mm -hmm. the only thing that he did wrong was his wife was on the electrical board and uh, he bought a whole bunch of. Uh, she was energy. on the electrical board. That's shocking. 
Yes, it certainly is. And uh, so thank you. I'll anyway, be here all week. What? Yeah. Bada boom. Uh, but uh, so what happened was he made a deal with the uh, utility supply companies to supply energy to the grid, but at a much higher price mm -hmm. than than it was. Yeah. So anyway, he got caught and he wasn't doing anything wrong and he shouldn't have been impeached uh, or not impeached. He shouldn't have been uh, what are they, what are they, uh, uh, taken out of office. Mm -hmm. But uh, but uh, Gavin Newsom, on the other hand, I mean, he is he has done a number of things to this economy. He's locked it down. You know, OK, no one's OK. But more. that is all a question of how you think what you think of the job he's doing. If you think he's doing a crappy job, then just wait till the next election and vote him out. OK, right. uh, that's not grounds for uh, you know, a recall. Uh, well, if, in my if, in my in my opinion, now I'm not going to defend Gavin Newsom because while I did like him, I don't think much of him now. Yeah, well, okay. his French Laundry esque ex escapades. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think I think he's done a terrible job with this whole COVID thing. He was good in yeah. the beginning, and then he got bad. Just like yeah. Cuomo was good in the it was bad in the beginning, got good, and now is getting bad again. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, one other thing. Uh, there's this yeah. guy in Russia. Uh, this thing is telling me my blood sugar is high. Yeah, mm -hmm. dismiss the alarm. Mm -hmm. So uh, anyway, uh, there's this guy in Russia, dissident. Yeah, and Navalny, uh, no, name, Navalny. Yeah, Natali, Natali. Natali and, or, or Navalny? Uh, I think it's Natali. And they're no, rounding no, up. Natali is a guy who calls this program every yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> So they're rounding up all his family and, and his wife and so forth and arresting them. Now, do you think that Robert got caught in that? Uh, I don't you know, think. I think it's Navalny, if I'm not mistaken. Navalny, Natali, they, you know, it all looks alike. I don't want to ruin your joke. Okay, okay go well, ahead. Well, he hasn't been around for a while, so I figured maybe he got rounded up by the it Russians. Could be. Could be. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Hey, listen, yeah. good talking to you. You know, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll check into my audio. I look uh, oddly enough. I look forward to this. So yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's uh, you know, I, I'm not sitting there like a bump on a log, uh, feeling like I can't say anything. We can sit here, chat, have a good time. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, I get my week's worth. And we don't and, hate and each and other at least yet. So yeah, yeah that's yeah, good exactly. too. Anyway, thank you. All right. See tonight. you next week. Have a good show. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen. That's Phil Meyer, who is a regular on our program. And it's time now for me to bring in the rest of the, uh, the wrecking crew, as it were. Uh, mm. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And uh, let me just uh, show you the Zoom panel. There we go. There's, uh, oh, Charlie Wallace is joining us. And Trucker Steve is trying to get in there. There he is. He's in his truck. There's Phil Meyer. There's... Uh, Alan, there's uh, Mr. Brian Neary and the lovely and attractive Charlie Wallace. Hello, Charlie. And Charlie's new shirt. <laughs> what does it say? It says, I don't trip. I just do random gravity checks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> As putting them on the stretcher. Oh, boy. <laughs> I like that. Anyway, hello everybody. How are you? How was your weekend? Oh, uh, not good. bad. Yeah, it's good. good. There's there there's good news by the CDC on the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine. Oh, I just mentioned it. I know. I was I was watching. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Nothing has changed. Um, it was eighty percent at three weeks a couple of weeks ago when we talked about this for Moderna at three weeks. Mm -hmm. And 52% at 14 days for Pfizer. Mm -hmm. Now, they believe Pfizer will go up, like you had said to Phil, but they don't know how much because they didn't test it. Because at three weeks, with the, with the Moderna, you're at 80%. Mm -hmm. But at three weeks with the Pfizer, you're getting your next vaccination. There was no reason to test you know, the, yeah, how much but, but, but considering in some places there are getting to be shortages and that the government may anytime soon say the second I, shot is not necessarily needed at this point. I agree. The more agree. more you can get, the better, you know. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. But but so if if they end up short, you know, changing it to five or six weeks out, 
-hmm. they may end up actually doing a test on 20 or 30 or 50 or 150 people that get the Pfizer shot yeah. and see how much protection they have at three weeks if they're not going to give the second shot until six weeks. And Dr. Fauci was saying that he believes it's going to be very close to the Moderna number, but it wasn't in the study because you're getting your second vaccination at three weeks with Pfizer yeah. versus Moderna and I don't know why. So that would that would bring you up to ninety five, right? Yeah. Right. Well, but, both but they the, the question they were asking is, and and this is the this is the good one with the eighty percent. Uh, Trucker Steve's having trouble with his picture tonight. I think. Are you there, Steve? Steve, are you there? Well, we can't hear him or see him. Uh, anyway. Um, what was I saying? Oh, uh, the, the question was an ethical question. It's this. Okay, so we find that, let's say, forget it, Pfizer goes up to 70, all right, when you yeah. don't get the second shot. It goes up to seven. They even think they may even go more than these numbers, that right. the longer it's in you, the better it gets, okay? That's right. All right. So now, uh, although Pfizer is saying now they think they may have to give a third shot three months in to protect against the current problems that they're having. Um, the variants? The, yeah, the variants. Yeah. 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 But, but the question is, okay, you've got people like crazy wanting and needing the vaccine. Uh, they don't have enough for everybody. They don't have enough to go around. So now we're looking at if you wait, at least we've got the 70%, 80%, maybe 85% protection, 72% with Johnson & Johnson immediately. Do we maybe hold off on that second shot like they're doing in England and get the, get those first shots out first? Because it's, it's not like the second dose is a different strength or anything like that. It's exactly the same, uh, same shot. So what the CDC and Dr. Fauci agrees and some of the other specialists, they don't need to name names, you don't know them. Mm -hmm. um, they all believe that if you don't get the second shot within four days, that the, that the first vaccine starts losing effectiveness. And they haven't really checked it out. When's enough. this though? Oh. When's, when's this though? Four days. So within four days on Pfizer and within four days of Moderna. So if you don't get it exactly at three weeks or four weeks, you can get it four days out and you still have that 80% or whatever on, we'll just deal with Moderna for right now, for Moderna. But what happens is your, your immune system, the reason why they give a lot of people second vaccinations like with shingles and stuff is your immune system loses the the protection fairly quick after the first shot. And so they, they give you a second shot and your immune system sees it again. It's primed. The first shot is called the prime. Mm -hmm. The second shot's called the booster. Mm -hmm. And what they know is that people start losing protection about four days after the day they're supposed to get it. How much they lose, they don't know. Now, I know well, now what uh, what I heard on Sunday was different than your information. Okay. And what no their, that information was, this doctor said they ha actually have good uh, evidence that, in fact, the longer you have the first dose in you, the stronger it gets. And okay. that, that, that you could wait 12 weeks, and it probably is, is, is quite strong as a result of that. that this is, a, this is a, a vaccine that goes in you, and it permeates the cells, and then it just gets stronger and stronger and stronger. So they don't, they don't know that you have to have it, uh, you know. I mean, I'm going to have it at just before six weeks, all right? So two things you said in that, in, in that was probably, and they don't sure. know which is true in both cases. Yeah. So they may be able to extend it out. I think your five or six weeks, you'll be fine. I'm, I'm not a virologist. I just happen to be in, yeah. in the know of a lot of this stuff uh, because of the study I'm involved with. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what they, what they don't know, what you said is they don't know a lot of this. Mm -hmm. And she's pretty. Who is it? 6,500 people are watching this person 
and there's 10 people watching us talk about the vaccine. Again. No, 37. <laughs> 37. Now, how many are watching her? Oops. Six, 6,500. You make fun of the girls doing the makeup tips. She's more no. excited than the talk. I wonder if if tomorrow night on this program, I just put makeup on. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Lipstick, whatever. Show. If if perhaps I will get 6,500 viewers. So, so anyhow, they, you know, yeah. what you, the statement you said was, Probably, and they don't know. I think that's true yeah. at this point. Well, this doctor seemed to be pretty sure that there's evidence to support the fact that that the longer you have it in you, uh, the stronger it gets, and that the fact that you may not do it at at uh, at four weeks or five weeks or six weeks is not a detriment. How does he know that? He <laughs> he reads the literature too. Okay. He, and he's a doctor who works for one of these virology organizations. Okay. Yeah, so. so if you look around the internet, you'll he is find a, he is an Allen from the East Bay. You know. There you go. <laughs> if you look around, if you look around the internet, you'll find a hundred specialists that have a hundred different. Opinions. I, I know. I know. All I'm saying is it made me feel I, a lot better about the fact that getting it at six weeks is not uh, not a detriment to me. It's probably not going to be a detriment. But I think that if you compare Moderna to Pfizer at three weeks, since they didn't test Pfizer at three weeks because they're giving you your second vaccination, yeah. I think that you're going to find that they're both just about the same. I know you got the Moderna, mm -hmm. and you and you're 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 doing what I do, and what everybody does as a human being. They want to grab you want to grab Moderna and say Moderna is doing great. Compared to Pfizer. No, I'm yeah. just I'm just giving you statistics, okay? And, oh, I understand. And, and, and I our statistics, it. the statistics you had and the statistics I had line up with each other. Right. right. Absolutely. That initially my shot gave me more protection than yours did. Uh, wait, I, hold on a second. Uh, uh, Trucker Steve's having all kinds of troubles tonight. Yes, uh, Warren, Winston Smith, better known as John Larkin. Yes, Winston. <laughs> so Winston. When, when I look at myself... And I'm looking at my T-shirt, the um, the printing's backwards. Yeah. But when I look at Charlie's, it's it's the right way. That's right. And it's, it's, the right way. it's the right way I, here. It's the right way. Explain, the way. Would, would somebody right way would somebody like to explain to him why it's backwards? Yeah. What shot did you take, Moderna or Pfizer? <laughs> <laughs> I was just I just noticed that. Is it, why why is it backwards to me? But it's, it's only back. It's only back. It's, it's only backwards right to you. On YouTube. It's something that uh, they do uh, on. Uh, uh, I'm not. It's not happening to me here, but uh, something in there you can change it somewhere uh, so it doesn't. It, mm. it, 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 it's only. It, it, it's only. It, what they do is they do a mirror. Life. They do a mirror image, because right. when I hold up my right hand here on the screen, it's my right hand, but it's on the other side of the screen. So what they do is they do a mirror thing so that when you're looking at this, you know, and you want to scratch your face, it, it's the same place you think you're scratching. What 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 now? Plus she's got ugly tattoos on her. What is that? How many has she got <laughs> now? Like you want to give us an update? You want to give us an update, Brian? On how many? Yeah, she's blending in the glitter now. <laughs> well, what she what's she up to? Is she lost people or gained people? I don't know. Then I got in trouble because I was watching that game ready to show you guys. And guess so who walked I, in? I think the left and the right tips. thing depends on if you got Moderna or Pfizer. <laughs> well, <laughs> is it going backwards to you guys? No, it's pretty no, it's sure it looks to me. All Bad I know, ball. all I know is that bottom line, and then we can go on to any number of other things. Bottom right. line, uh, I've got protection. You know. And I have protection. Yeah. So, and what did you get? You had I, Pfizer or Moderna? I had the Pfizer. Yeah. Yeah. They claim the Pfizer starts protecting you at 12 days. Moderna's probably well, close to that. It's 12 days. I was, to, I was yeah, told well, that I, too. I, yeah. yeah. I get my next injection yeah, on Monday. I, so. uh, it's 50% as of uh, 12, uh, 12 days, which right. for me you're was, you're was Sunday. Time. was Sunday. Right, you're 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 doing fine. Yeah, no, I mean, I feel you know, it's nice to you know look, that I'm somewhat protected. However, there's an interesting thing about the Johnson and Johnson, and I don't know why why we don't get this thing passed faster. 
while it only has 72% protection, if, say, you come down with COVID and they shoot you up with the Johnson & Johnson, it will mitigate the disease. So, Maybe. Well, no, they say it does. That's okay. what they found. You know, okay. Yeah. Anyway. But they say if you, take, if you take it and you get sick right away and you're supposed to go to the hospital, it won't make you go to the hospital. But then if you do go to the hospital because you're so sick, it won't kill you. It'll just make you go hospital. So it'll lessen the yeah the severity. Lessen the severity. Yeah. So that's great. It, it, that's, that's because great it is news. it is partially a vaccine, uh, in the truest sense. I I don't like calling this thing a vaccine because it's really not. It doesn't give you a little bit of the bug. Okay, so you create antibodies, but the Johnson and Johnson mm -hmm. has a trace of the bug in it. So, you know, eh, then, whatever. Did you see the the guys on Bill Maher? That, that couple that was on Bill Maher talking about the yeah. origin of the the virus. Pretty good, pretty good. People. Yeah, but I didn't like them. I thought they were I thought they were full really? of crap. Yeah, I felt they were full of crap, and I felt that that uh, Bill Maher was fawning all over him as he has a tendency to do sometimes, yeah. uh, and was fawning over them and not really being active in trying to say, hey, uh, you know, find out whether they were right or wrong, you know. So I mean, I didn't, uh, I wasn't that happy with them i think i think i think that show sucks lately because of covid i think he should just yeah. stay off the air till covid's over with yep. and he can do a full full-on show and you know bring in the people he wants to bring in yeah yeah like a couple weeks ago it seems like he keeps interrupting people and not letting them finish their answers he asked him a question, and then he keeps going at it and said, wait and wait. Well, he has a tendency to do that. He has a tendency to do a lot of things. I mean, he's an ageist. His, he, nothing but old oh, yeah. people jokes. Lots of old You notice that, Charlie? Yep. Does that bother you when you see it? I wouldn't say it bothers me, but I definitely notice it. Hey, you know, old people, they're, they're funny and goofy, right? You know, and they're, they're. Isn't he old? Hmm? Isn't he old? He ain't no spring chicken. No, that's, he's like 64 yeah. or 65, yeah. Yeah. But wow, I, that's old. Yeah, that's old enough to be old. <laughs> oh, boy. When I look at this group and I realize I'm the oldest one here, that depresses me. Well, yeah. didn't you and God grow up in the same sandbox, Alex? We, yes, we did. <laughs> we, we did. Yes, absolutely. You know. Um, Am I the youngest one here? How old are you? I'm 51. Dan's 51. Oh, you are. Yeah, you are. Well, a, ro a, ro a trucker, Steve, how old are you? Trucker Steve, can you hear me? How old? Yes. Huh? 45. 45. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, he's he's younger than you are. He's younger. Okay. okay. Oh. And I'm 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 37. So, yeah. you know. 97? <laughs> There's a problem with the sound today. If I were 37, I'd be I'd have more viewers here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> because I'd be doing something be they want to hear, you know. So I, I, I last night I listened to the Monday show because I'm not up at that hour. Yeah, and the the beautiful lady from I think she's from Georgia. Mm -hmm. Oh man, she made yeah. a comment. You you talked about the weather early on, and she says it's cold here. It's uh, 36 or something like that. What? She says, but I know that it's a lot worse there. I know you have 10 inches. And I'm surprised. <laughs> there we go. I'm surprised nobody in the group jumped on that when she well, was I want to know how she knew that. <laughs> it was my thought. I couldn't figure that because out. Because we are gentlemen on Mondays. We are yes, gentlemen we are. on Mondays. Yeah, very, this is the filthy show. Yeah. That yeah that, it's, a very, it's a very civilized show. Is what I laughed. Mean. That was cute when she said that. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, I didn't start doing it to be a... Uh, a civilized show. I started doing it because of COVID, and I just felt that certain people might have something they want to do when they have nothing to do when they're stuck indoors. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, we'll do it. On, we'll do a Monday during the day and see if it works. Right. And and in fact, it has become the most popular show we have on GabNet. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, absolutely. Isn't that how you experimented with Zoom also? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, I think I because I, I think. I think I started. I, a couple of those I think I was reluctant to do Zoom because I I couldn't control it, you know, and I still can't. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm at a whim 
for all the pictures and where they land, I have no control over that. Where with uh, Skype, uh, I was able to create boxes and then put different people in each of the boxes. I could control it. I could put a background on it. And I could do all kinds of things. Um, but that's not the case now. So uh, now I just have to take what, what Zoom gives me. And it, it's, got, it's got its problems. I mean, I, the picture jumps every now and then and so on. Yes, uh, Dan. I was uh, you know, like just talking about that. Remind me of uh, this Skype with, with this pandemic. Skype blew the greatest opportunity oh, yeah. that they had. Yeah, I absolutely. mean, it was just because you know everything was Skype, but now all of a sudden Zoom just took over everything. Yeah, and I like it. It's nice, but you know, <laughs> Skype was mm-hmm. king of the thing for a while. Hold on a second. Another, Hold on one second. Uh, Ryan, are you there? I don't trust new people. Ryan, are you there? Hey, hey. Hey. Ryan, are you there? Uh, Bye. Bye. He said bye. Ah, they disappeared. He's trying to do a Zoom bomb. I didn't even... No, I don't think he was. I think they just couldn't get on or something. Which, if you can't get on to Zoom, boy, you better give up on computers altogether. I think yeah. Brian was the nickname of the girl that was putting the makeup on the that Brian. <laughs> yeah, and and we lost trucker Steve again. He's been having trouble tonight. He may be on Sometimes the road. He no, he's yeah, he is. he's obviously parked somewhere, but he may not have a good Wi-Fi signal. Is we hope so. Yeah. yeah, he's parked somewhere. Well, no, he you know he wouldn't be doing this if he were driving. The so. dog's driving. Yeah, that's but right. Then he's not at home where you'd have a good strong signal. He's so I got my up. answer tonight. This was a good one. Uh, I, uh, you know, I, I, oh, here comes Ryan again. Let me see here. Here comes Ryan. Okay. Ryan, Hello. Ryan are you there? Can you hear us, Ryan? Yes. You can. I can hear you. Huh? Yes. Yeah, I can hear you. You can hear me? We can't see you. No, because I have my camera. You don't have your camera on? Why don't you have your camera on, Ryan? Huh? Are you, are you doing makeup tips? <laughs> no. I think this is a little kid. I think, think this is a little kid. I'm on YouTube. Yeah. You're on YouTube. Yeah, I came here from YouTube. Yeah. How old are you? How old are you? Nine. Nine? <laughs> oh my oh. goodness! Everybody, yeah, Ryan, everybody, was... cool it, cool it. Yeah, yeah. So now we know who the young is. So Ryan, what do you do for a living? I play Roblox. What? Yay! Roblox. Same here. What do you say? <laughs> what? Play what? Roblox. 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 Yeah, I go tycoon. Right. You go on tycoon, Ryan? Yeah. Yeah, I play all these too. Yeah, you can't turn on your camera, Ryan. Want to. Oh, you don't want to. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Well, you don't have He's to. <laughs> you don't have to. Yeah. So who did you vote for? What? <laughs> <laughs> who did you what vote for? I leave. What? Oh, he's leaving. Oh, oh I'm lost. Oh, oh, my God. God. Well, it was, wow. it, it, was, was it was adorable. And since Adrian yeah. isn't willing to be adorable anymore... I, I, I like how Phil changed his name and the voice. <laughs> Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 Phil, was, you can that call was a great impression, voice. Phil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Here, I'm having my soda yeah. now. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think Ryan was, was whispering because he was up past his bedtime. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. He, he said that he lived in Austin, so we were okay. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Austin's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, how's everything? Oh, let's go. Let's go to. Uh, we didn't ask tonight. Um, time for Charlie Wallace, Doctor Doom. Um, yeah, update. It's another banner day. Really, three thousand six hundred seventy-three dead Americans today. Really, mm. it doesn't change, does it? It's it hovers now. It was going over four thousand. Now it's at least at thirty-six hundred, pretty mm-hmm. consistently every day. Yeah, the number of infections are half what they were, you know, three weeks ago, but the really? deaths are lagging well, behind. Well, the deaths are right. going to lag behind yeah. because first you have to get sick. Then yeah. you have to get 
in the really? ICU. Then you have to get intubated. And once you're intubated, there's about a 20% chance you're going to get out of intubation. So yeah. it, we have to let all those go through to the point where they, we exhausted them. Then you might start seeing the number go down. There's at least three of us that are partly protected. I'm not sure yeah. about Jeffrey. Was Did Jeffrey get a shot yesterday? No, no Jeffrey no. didn't get a shot yesterday. You're going to Harvard on Wednesday, right? I'm going to Yale. Yale. Yeah. Yale. 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 And, and you're going to go to Yale and get your shot there. Are you set up to go there and take have the oh, shot? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Excellent. How did you Good. get in there so fast? I mean, you got, you know. My smart wife. Signed me up at two different places. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. yeah. There you go. Jesus. And for, yeah. as it turned out, one of them was on oh, Monday. No. Was Come on, Bill. Stop. <laughs> yeah, scary oh, monster. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now we got scary monster. Oh, this is getting that, fun. Is that you, Ryan? Uh, that you, Phil? It's scary monster. <laughs> right, scary? <laughs> I think it's the same person that was Ryan. Is this Ryan? Does somebody call and say Baba Booey? Or... <laughs> yeah, that's the next thing that's going to happen. Yeah, maybe it's Howard Stern. I'm scary monster. No, oh, there we go. That's uh, Ryan. This is Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Ryan. You're, pre you're pretty smart. You know how to spell scary. Yes, I know how to spell. <laughs> you okay. Spell, okay, all right, all right. You're good at spelling? Yes. Very okay. Good. So if I gave you a word, you could spell it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It. Spell it. 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 Very good. Okay. Okay. Now here's another one for you Anti establishmentarianism. <laughs> oh, no. Wait a minute. Say it again. Anti establishmentarianism. That's too hard. Okay. Uh, how about who did you vote for, Trump or Biden? <laughs> um, my dog. Your dog. Hey, can you spell Republican? <laughs> um, R E B. Mm. Uh, That's all Trump could spell either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's R E P. Yeah. U B, L I C A N. Sorry, you lost, Ryan. Give me another word. Oh, okay. Anybody come up with another word for him? I, somebody else. Okay. Rest, restaurant. Restaurant. Oh, boy. Um, R E S T A U R A N T. Wow. Wow. Very good. Very good. Oh, I missed that one. Is that see, doesn't that be, now, folks? Doesn't this doesn't beat this beat that girl putting on makeup? Come on! <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Tomorrow you're gonna get a 50 inch TV delivered to your front yeah, door. Yeah. What, what? What? Anybody else have a word for Ryan? Um. Oh, yeah, I had Liberty. Jeopardy. Liberty. 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 Uh, Ryan. Li Liberty. Uh huh. L I B E R T Y. Yeah. Very good. There you go. You're you're nine years old. What grade are you in now? Third. 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 Wow. And you're that Third good grade. at spelling? Wow. Yeah. Was I that good at spelling at that age? I don't think so. I don't think I wasn't. We I don't think I was level. either. No. Give me a hard word. Oh, a, oh, a hard word. <laughs> the tiny. Huh? Puxatani. Puxatani. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> No, easier than that. Oh, okay, easier than that. Okay, see. Science. Uh, no, um, science. 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 Yeah, that's okay. a good one. Um, mm, S C I E N C. Yeah, good job. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You got one letter left. Physics. What? E. Physics. Right, right. Okay. All right. Good, good one there, there, Jeff. Physics. Yeah. P. Uh, P. H. 
I C H Y S. I don't know. Yeah, no, you were. Yeah, right. There is a Y in there. There is a Y, but uh, there's no H, right? Is it P P? I yeah, know. and we just lost. We just and we just lost. Uh, we, we just Mommy lost. The, we just out. lost the smartest person we've had on this show since its inception. That's, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's Come on, give me any word. I can spell it. Hey Ryan, you can study astrophysics. Yeah, Ryan's gone though. We lost oh, Ryan. Xylophone. Xylophone. Oh, that would have been a good one. Yeah. yeah. That's what I wanted to give him, but I thought it might be mean. No, that's yeah. not being mean. He said, give me tough ones, you know. Okay. But then I gave him anti-establishmentarianism, and he couldn't do yeah. that. So. Yeah, I don't know if I could spell that. A-N-T-I-E-S-T-A-B-L-I-S-H and mentarianism. Uh, no, I could do it. I If I write it out, I can do it. I can't. Yeah. For some reason, I've never been able to spell vocally. You know, I could never be in a, a spelling bee because I would have problems. How about refrigerator? Refrigerator's easy. Oh, okay. Spell it. R E F F R I D G G E R A T O R. Yep, that's okay. correct. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Should have given him Mississippi. How, how, why, why don't you get me to spell a washer dryer and how much it's going to cost us to have it fixed? <laughs> I thought Marjorie negotiated. Oh, yeah, I've got this. I've got get. this. This thing is turned into a money oh, pit. No. Okay, because he came by and he tried to. He tried, no, <clears throat> he tried to get rid of the uh, the bolt in it, and the bolt won't come out. So he's going to have to saw the agitator down so he can get to the bolt from the side and try and open it that way. And he's already ordered another agitator to replace the one that we have. Oh, that's expensive. No, it's not expensive at all. It's about uh, 70 bucks, 69, 70 bucks. I mean, yeah. yeah, no, I look, we, he, we asked him. He said it's about 60, about 70 bucks. Does this guy come in and bend over and show us crack a lot? No, like, no, 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 no. He doesn't do that. So, <laughs> so he might have. not a real. Oh. <laughs> he might have to do that, but uh, you know, it, the reason we're not getting another one is this one's supposedly in great shape. It's he said it's it, it can go another ten years without any problems. He says this these things go forever. All right, he <laughs> said, but uh, he said that uh, he wouldn't be fixing it if he didn't feel it was going to really fix it up and it was going to last a while for us so we'll see what happens i don't know you know uh I, we're i'm already invested about 170 bucks into this whole piece of crap deal mm. and uh, we're going to spend another 500 to fix it and then the agitator and you know so who knows the reason i don't want to get another one is this old this other one this one has to be then pulled out of the pantry which is going to mean we're going to have to get rid of a lot of stuff in the pantry in order to make room for to be able to get it out. And then the new one has to be brought in, installed. And uh, that's going to cost, uh, if we buy a new one, sure, it's going to cost about 1500 bucks, but it's going to cost us another 200 or so for the installation and the hauling away of the old uh, thing. So, you know, it, it's a pain in the ass. Who... So that sounds really agitating. Yes, it's agitating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I looked up agitators too. The agitator itself, the part he needs, is only about seventy bucks, I think. From yeah, no, it costs from, three times as much to get it installed. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but if that screw would have just come out, be fixed already. All right. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, and he's got to get a new screw for it too, and uh, it's, uh, it's it's rust there, and it, yeah, it's. Forget it. I just, I give up. We've got a laundromat around the corner. Okay. Let's go back to thermometers. <laughs> sure. Let me they look. Cost at the, a lot less. What's Alex's current temperature? Yes. <laughs> Compare the oral and uh, rectal thermometer. Everybody take a guess here. What is it? Use the rectal thermometer I gave you. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. He's got it in his mouth right now. <laughs> Hey, what's the uh, difference between an oral and a rectal thermometer? Uh, a rectal thermometer tastes like shit. Well, uh, <laughs> the, the taste, that was the answer. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just I just made the whole answer a little you cruder. Know, I, yeah. I it funnier. <laughs> yeah, you can. I used that joke last sick. week. Nobody laughed. 
Save that joke for Ryan. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, did you hear Jeff Bezos uh, is, is quitting? Yes. yes. He left He left right when he was in his prime. What's his prime? Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, he's <laughs> not. I, 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 well, I thought I heard that he was actually going to, he's actually ascending to some other. No, what, no he's board. stepping down as CEO, but is retaining his position as chairman of the board. Yeah. Okay. And you know, one of the things the chairman of the board does, he appoints the CEO. Yes. Yeah. So, so, you know. so they'll make money. It's he's like Putin still, and he's Trump. He's still the largest stockholder. So he, he's know, still the yeah. most, the richest man in the world. I don't know where yeah. his money came from because this company kept losing money and losing money and losing money. I don't know. My and he is worth like eighty billion dollars. No, not pandemic. eighty. Not eighty. Try this for on for size. Mm -hmm. As of today, two hundred billion dollars. Yep. Just him. Just him. Yep. God damn. Is that more cost. than Trump has? <laughs> um, him, yeah. him not to li not not to listen to Trump tell it. Not to listen. Yeah. <laughs> you not know. to Trump. But um, uh, I, uh, what, what do you guys think? Uh, I don't want to get too heavily into politics, although we probably could use it because the numbers are really low tonight. Uh, what do you think of the whole concept of the uh, of the uh, impeachment? Hmm. I think uh, for, well, well, first of all, let's go to Charlie. He had his hand up first, then we'll go to all Dan right. Meyer. Yes, Charlie. I think you got to impeach him because if you let people get away with doing all kinds of shit and you don't punish them for it, they're just going to keep doing it. But he's not going to get punished. There's not enough votes. No, no. He, it's not done yet. It's not but, done but they yet. Can still, I don't see why they can't to do it again. <laughs> Okay, if, uh, Dan, how do you feel? Uh, well, I was gonna, I was gonna basically say the same thing, but you know, you gotta, you gotta just do, do what you can and get it on record who voted for what. Yeah. And if, and if uh, he gets acquitted, then that's for the rest of history to see. You know. Well, you see, the thing that bothers me, the thing that bothers me, is that because we are impeaching him now gonna have to see his ugly face on television every day when they whenever oh. msnbc talks about him, immediately they put on a picture of him of course yeah. you know yeah. and i just don't even want to hear from the guy again i just get out of that's, my face that's, you know i'm so fatigued from it that's that's exactly what uh you know when i was i remember thinking he was gonna lose the election and you know people are gonna be like oh let's just have unity and and let's just be done with this we're so tired of it so let's just let it go and let have his own little private island and you know i'll be all hunky dory no he's gotta he's gotta fucking pay oh, uh, yes yeah. uh first of all uh let's see here uh um uh, we had John Larkin has hand up and then Ray. Yes, John. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I understand they, they're going to impeach him and that's a good thing and everything, but they're, he's going to get off on that. But why don't, why, why aren't they talking about prosecuting him federally, criminally? Well, here's, here, here's what I feel. Okay. Is that forget about all the impeachment stuff. He's going to be up to his ass in litigation anyway. The state yeah. of New York is going to press charges against him. I have little doubt that they aren't going to, okay? And they're not relying on the federal system or anything like that. So he's going to have to defend himself in court on that particular thing. Um, he's got all kinds of other legal things hanging over his head. His life is going to be a living hell for the next how many years he's left alive. He's going to be left without a penny. Yeah. You know? And, you I know, hope. so, I mean, we don't need to impeach him to get even with him. He's, he's, he's going to, his life is going to be a living hell. I'm telling you that right now. You know. Um, yeah, but it's about more than that, though. It's about further down the line, way past yeah. uh, hundreds of years from now. What's it's it? about the next Republican president. Yeah. yeah. Well, every I, I Republican president has done worse than the one before him. Yeah. You had Don't Nixon, have a free pass then you had Reagan, whatever. and then you had, well, not the Win. first Bush, but then you had George W. Bush, yeah. and now you got Trump. Every, it keeps escalating. 
you don't do anything to Trump, the next guy will overthrow the government with the military and will be like Russia. Yeah, right. That's true. I believe that as well. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, uh, Ray, you had your hand up. I think they should have just censored him because he's going to get off. He's not going to get convicted on this impeachment, and he's going to claim victory. I wasn't guilty. It was a witch hunt again. I never told them to attack the Capitol. I just said, walk down the street with me. Yeah, if, they but, just censor, if they just censured him, then he couldn't do anything against that. And then yeah, uh, he's going to be facing all these charges, it's like you say, him. Alex. It's about the next guy. No, It's about the smart version of Trump that's coming down the pike. Yeah. No, that's why I think a censuring, he wouldn't have been able to refuse. But you don't have all the facts. You don't know about the meeting the night before they had. You don't know about all the meetings they had leading up to the six where they were planning this shit. No, yeah. but my yeah, but, 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 but Charlie, trial. Charlie, that's Charlie, a, I agree with you, but they're just not going to convict him. But no matter also, what. Charlie, that's going to come out in uh, uh, in in uh, uh, all, all the uh, FBI investigations and the governmental investigations as to how that happened and why it happened and who conspired mm -hmm. to do it. Uh, those are all coming out from other places as mm -hmm. well. It's not like we've given up the ghost on who did what, where, and when. Uh, but it's just that in the end, we're never going to be able to find this guy guilty in the Senate, and uh, therefore we can't even censure him on any level. So, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, yes, uh, Dan Meyer. Um Let's just submit this, this this entire from the get go. The whole thing of impeachment in the first place is so ridiculous. It's all political. It's all a popularity contest. Now, did you know that Mitt Romney was the first person ever when he voted for to convict in the last impeachment? The first person ever from the president's own party to vote to convict in an impeachment. That kind of tells you right there that the whole thing is just partisan. Crap hole, all right. Well, I, you know, I mean, uh, uh, yes, it's a lot of it, it, all of it is partisan, and most of it is going to be along. Uh, yeah. But I mean, the, exactly. we, we need 17 more people to convict, convict right. him, and, and I don't and think I, he, you've got the Republicans right. with the cojones, cojones to do that. I, I agree. I mean, here's, I a, here's the part I don't get Mitch McConnell, who is now literally not the majority leader of the Senate because. If you add in Kamala Harris's vote, he is the minority, okay? Right. Because you have to add that vote in, because whenever there's a tie, she's going to be yeah. there to do. So he, uh, Schumer, is now the majority leader. Yeah. Mm -hmm. McConnell is not willing to step down as, my, as majority leader. It's not his choice. I don't think it is his choice, but he's refusing to step down. Well, you know, he's following the example of Trump, I guess. <laughs> I guess, you know, I don't know. That sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. It's all been crazy. I mean, do you, do you, you know, do you really honestly, truly believe that our president uh, won by a great majority in the last election? I, yeah, you won in a great majority if you don't count any of the Democratic votes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now, now but the, the majority leader controls what bills go on the floor. Mm -hmm. and, and, and McConnell can't control that. Because the, the Democrats are going to put on the, uh, the, the, the uh, coronavirus bill and they're going to put it on the floor and they're going to do it with reconciliation so it doesn't yeah. have to go through any filibuster bullshit. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. going to be just a majority vote. 50 votes and uh, Harris is the tiebreaker. Okay, so here's what we do. Here's what we do. I say, I say screw this whole thing with playing nice-nice with the Republicans. Obviously, yeah. they don't want to cooperate. Obviously, they don't want to come to compromise or things like that. So what we do is we just simply tell them, okay, fuck you. We're just going, we've got the votes. We're going to vote it through. Oh, and by the way, where filibuster is concerned, we're going to change that while we're at it. Yeah. yeah, that's they're going to have to do that. Yeah, you know, so I mean, come on, you got you got to say to the Republicans, play some kind of ball with us. Maybe we can make some kind of compromise here. But if you don't want to compromise, we're still going to do it. We're just trying to play nice. Yes, right. John. You, you know, the, the Republicans are always saying, oh, you know, um, uh, the economy during Obama was so slow, it was the slowest fucking re recovery in the history. 
Yeah, well, it was the fucking Republicans that wouldn't, you know, that was yeah. blocking the stimulus and stuff in 2008. They were the ones that were all, you know, making, you know, trying to trying to fuck the economy up. So yeah. it was their fault that, it, you know, the recovery wasn't that good. Right. So now, Republican- now that we have the power, we're just, you know, they're not going to fuck with them anymore. They yeah. learned their lesson. Hmm. That's that seems like what Republicans always do because they sabotage something and then they say, "Look what the Democrats did." Yeah, know? of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. But and they filibuster. It used to be you only filibuster two or three bills every session. They filibuster every fucking single bill during yeah. Obama's. Yeah. Yeah. Administration. Every bill had to have 60 votes. I think if you think about it, Obama did a bang up job of being president, considering the fight he was having to fight to get anything passed. Yeah, for sure. Uh, And and so far as the economy is concerned, it started to flourish under Obama. You know, it took a dive right after the Republicans were no longer in office because they left it in a shambles and they allowed this whole, you know, these uh, this whole, <clears throat> the whole financial thing. Now, this is says Va- Rodrigo Vale Vallejo Torres. Do oh. we want to take a chance on him? Sure. Huh? Shall we? I'm because I'm I'm ready to just take him off immediately. So let's uh, let's see what happens here. I bet it's going to be a a, a a bomb. Hello, Rodrigo, are you there? Asked to unmute. Okay, unmute. Okay, if you don't unmute, okay, now you're... Uh, are you there, Rodrigo? <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, oh, okay. No. Okay, oh, put your waiting room. <laughs> ah, Finally! Ah. Oh, man. Jeez. <laughs> At least you know fun. that was not Phil. Yeah, yeah. Let me get this back to gallery <laughs> here. Phil on the, awesome. Yeah. Was at least we. What, what was that? What was that? I got rid of it so fast I didn't get time to look at. It was, at a, it. Nate, oh, it was a Nate. It was a male stripper. A male stripper. Yeah. Okay. Well. American flag. Just, yeah. It was just simple male nudity, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Maybe that was Ryan. I'll <laughs> 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 oh, no. be Ryan in thirty years. Yeah, Ryan in thirty years. Oh boy. Anyway, um, Alan, did you have something you wanted to say? You had your hand up earlier. I did, but I wasn't seen. So no, go oh. ahead, Alan. I, I can't remember. Wait till you get to my age. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you, Charlie. Well, we, we were talking, you know, but we were talking about you know whether whether impeachment is on the table, whether it's a good yeah. idea. I you just took think, Dan, and then you kind of sort of passed Ray. And then you finally took Ray. Yeah. But here, here's, here's my feeling on it. Okay. We've got rid of Trump, which was wonderful. Goodbye. There's the door. Fucking leave. All right? That's right. All right. But, oh, this is now Jaime Trujillo. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Jaime Trujillo. Now I know what I was going to say. Okay. Remove and report to Zoom. Okay. And then I'm going to say, yeah, let's see here. Huh? Uh, other can't talk to you later. Uh, legal or abusive? Okay, we'll do okay. that. Submit. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for submitting the report. Yeah, okay, it's so, enough is enough. I yeah. ju- I'm doing a show here. I don't have to answer all your questions. <laughs> so, so what I what I wanted to ask earlier was, mm-hmm. why are we allowing the Republicans to get involved in our politics when? Trump had total control. Did they allow the Democrats to have anything? Right. No, but here, here's no. The, here. So why are we even playing this game with them? But here, here's the, here, nice here's, the thing, here's the thing that bothers me. Okay, is that every day I tune into MSNBC, and as I say, every time they talk about Trump, they show a picture of him. And when he was no longer going to be president, I sighed a sigh of relief because the exhaustion I've had just having to put up with this man's face on television every day was Mm -hmm. more than I could take, all right? Mm -hmm. So I am so happy he's gone. Now, he's not gone. He's still on every day. It's just going to be for a couple more weeks, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? How long do you think this trial's going to take, John? Yeah, you know when he was uh, speaking at the uh, at at that rally at the eclipse, you know on on the day, and he was doing Jerry Lewis, you know when he goes, and we're gonna go, we're gonna walk down to the Capitol. 
Did you mm-hmm. notice that? <laughs> it's Jerry Lewis. Listen, he is guilty of insurrection. There's no question in my mind that he's guilty of insurrection. Yes. It's not because I'm a I'm a lefty. It's just what I saw screamed insurrection. He asked people to come to Washington on that particular mm-hmm. day when they were going to be holding the vote, only to tell them, now march down the street and tell them what you think. And then giving mm-hmm. admonishing them that uh, cowards or something don't win or whatever. Yeah. Right, fight. We got to fight. Yes, Just yes. a lot of violence. Uh, uh, yeah, take back our country. You know what he did was basically cause an insurrection, yep. and he's guilty yeah. of that. Yeah, but you're yeah. never going to find the Republicans to find him guilty on that, yeah. and that's the problem. And the Absolutely. problem is that don't we have other things to do? And and isn't the re- isn't he going to have enough problems as it is already? I'll bet you he's going to have to sell Trump Tower within two years. Oh yeah, uh, Charlie. Yeah, the problem with impeachment is a lot of these uh, people that are involved in it in the Senate were were his co-conspirators, and yet they're on the jury. Yeah. That is a problem. That's, they have well, that's to, yes, little, they were yeah, they were his co-conspirators, but they were also the victims of the crime. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, well, and they also had 45 of them say that they were going to vote before the trial even happened. They said they're going to vote him innocent. They're not going to convict him. What because, would you have with a jury if they said if 10 of the jurors came up and said, hey, we're going to find this guy. But how can they? How, no how, what what I don't saying, get is how they can do that after hiding and and under their desks during this whole thing and then coming mm-hmm. out and saying, well, it isn't his fault. What do you mean it's not his fault? Yeah. You know, a- a- AOC did a uh, yeah, Instagram and, yeah. she, and she had a real detailed thing. And she was hiding. She was trying to be as quiet as could be. And she could hear people yelling out, where is she? Where is she? She yeah. knew they wanted to fucking kill her. Yeah, and if they, they had found her, they probably her. would have. Absolutely. They, yeah, they, they would have fucking raped her first, of course. But Same thing know. with Pence. Yeah. Yep. Did, did you hear the interview? Did you hear the interview of the Capitol Police officer, the black guy, say that had... That anybody made it into the vice president or into the chamber and threatened anybody, he would have had no problem killing them on the spot. Yeah, yeah but when you got that many people, mm-hmm. you have to well, get them yeah, that, get extra bullets. You know, these mm-hmm. cops got you know probably fifty rounds on them. Yeah, you know? but that's not going to save Pence once right. he's dead or AOC well, once that, he's dead. Worry about worry about the uh, the Congress. F- forget Pence. You know the thing I saw tonight. I tell you, I heard about the uh, the the cop who died in the in the insurrection, mm-hmm. uh, who's being laid to rest at the Capitol Rotunda, yeah. which is very rare Absolutely. honor for a, for a civilian, basically. Absolutely, and yeah. and he deserves it. But I yep. kept saying to myself, I looked at my watch and I said, didn't this happen on January sixth? And what's yeah. the date today? It's the second of February, and awesome. they're going to put them under the rotunda. I said, you know, we Jews bury our people within two days. Oh, I you know, and this guy's been oh, been man. whatever. And man. then, then he was cremated though. But, he was cremated. I, yeah, that's yeah. what I. I was so happy to see it. They placed a box there of his ashes right. Right. in the rotunda. Yeah, they, they don't want to find his body up. Yeah, yeah, uh, oh. but. <laughs> Yes, uh, John. That, 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 that's a high honor. And would Trump have done that? Absolutely. No. Or if it had been done anyway, he wouldn't have shown up. Yes, uh, that's right. Uh, John. When my mother died, you know, the mm-hmm. um, know. you know, I mean, I was there the night, you know, that she passed away in the hospital, you know. Mm-hmm. But you know, she passed away at like four in the morning, and I went home, you know, to go to sleep. Yeah. And, and somehow, some competing mortuaries claimed her body, so like. So like like some mortuary that I don't I don't even know I never even called a mortuary but some mortuary came and took her body away I was like because they I don't know what even happened I was like so I, I was like where's my mother I called the fucking hospital like where's my mother like well that mortuary took her like what fucking mortuary <laughs> so wow. I had to go, fuck, go to the mortuary and claim her and take her to this other fucking mortuary well what did why what was their excuse on why they had to you know, why they stole her body basically. I, I think I I I don't know. I don't know how it works. I guess they thought 
I guess they thought she was like an in, in, indigent or something, indigent, you know, whatever that word is. You know, somebody that dies without any family. Mm, that's horrible. Hey, you know, we haven't heard from Trucker Steve at, uh, hardly at all tonight. Anything you want to comment on, Steve? Uh, so I got a bad internet signal. That's why I haven't been talking much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's sp always okay. spotty on the road, right? Well, this particular truck stop, it's shit. <laughs> we thought maybe you were on the road and the yeah. dog was driving. Yeah. Well, no, your picture is fine and your audio is fine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what it might be is it might look bad on your end is what the problem probably is. Well, yeah. you guys are constantly freezing up on my computer. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. But you're not freezing up audio? here. You're not freezing up I'm here. Seeing it's been some fun. Goofiness. I don't know. Yeah. I think so, the message that his bandwidth is low. No. Yeah, you know, I, I, same thing. I've been getting that on several other people here. I think the the program is messed up. No, it's coming through great on this end, and that's all that matters. Actually, is that there it looks go. good. That it looks no, that it looks good here, because then it will look good on, on YouTube. You know, well, we'll have to see. And everybody's signal is five by five, as they say, or is it ten five by, by ten? Five. Is it five by five? Is that it? Anyway, the mind of the brain cells that Trump has. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, you know, let's see here. How's my uh, how's my temperature doing? As oh long yeah. As we got a couple of minutes left, a minute left or so on the show, I should take my temperature, and see what it is now. Uh, <laughs> you always how My blood pressure is always guess. five or ten points higher after this show. Mm, really? Ten points. That would be a problem. Ninety-seven nine, folks. Ta-da! I was I was gonna bring up something real quick. I, I don't yeah, know right. how many um, you know fans of the cannabis are here, but uh, have you have, who's ever heard of Delta Eight THC? That's like the new thing. It's really good and it's legal. It's really? legal everywhere. R yes, really? not in Texas. Well, do, are you? Well, maybe some states have. Are you familiar with with what it is, Charlie? Hey, no damn. marijuana okay. is legal yeah. in Texas. That like I'm in California, medical? baby. Yeah, they everything's legal in California. And they developed that at Trump University last month. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, Cuomo here has said that he he wants it fully legal just for recreational use now. He yeah. feels it's a way of raising it might money. This year. Congress yeah. might vote for it. Well, also he feels that it's a way of raising money uh here. You know, so it's it's not as uh, bad. I want to see you high on marijuana, Alex. You know what? No, you don't. Okay. I'll tell you why. I get very it, boring. I just get withdrawn. Really? Yeah. I just. Alex, I, Alex, let me tell you. Are you worried about like the paranoia? No. The Delta Eight doesn't give you. No, the paranoia. I don't care about the paranoia. I'm paranoid okay. anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, I I just I just become dull, so I never smoke it while I'm working. I could never. I I found I occasionally once in a while by accident I got high on pot, and then I tried to do a show, and I couldn't. I just couldn't. Oh, that was the Grateful Dead, right? Oh, the Grateful Dead came into my <laughs> studio and they all started smoking, and I was told by the I'm station, not well, not. you don't have to stop people who come in and smoke, but you can't do it yourself. Mm -hmm. I was so high by the end of that show. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. And that's it for tonight, folks. Oh, that's all she wrote. Never went over 40 people listening at any given time. What the hell oh. is up, up with things lately? I guess it's just not as exciting anymore, Thank folks. Tips. Oh, here Wrong. comes Juan Carlos Garcia Chavez, who has entered the, uh, the uh, thing. We'll just go remove and uh, remove them. And no, I don't want to. Uh, no, I don't want to report. Forget it. It takes forever to do. Uh, so Juan, Juan has been removed. I think I have to be really careful about that now unless I, I look at it and I can tell who the person is, right? You know. Uh, but it was nice talking to, um, who was it? Uh, Brian. 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 Yeah, Brian. Hey, listen, thanks to Dan Meyer for being here. Thanks to Alan for being here. Brian, always good having you here, Brian. Uh, same thing with Charlie Wallace and Jeffrey Stein and John Larkin and Ray, Ray Renati and the lovely and attractive uh, trucker Steve and his dog, Rocky, who we have not seen tonight. He's probably asleep, right, trucker Steve? Is Rocky, uh, is Rocky still? Oh, 
There's there. Rocky under the sheets. Oh, there's yeah. Rocky. There's Rocky. Okay. There now all's good there with the world. Rocky. Everybody give a big wave goodbye, and we'll give a big wave goodbye back at you. Okay, there they go. That's our citizen panel for tonight, and along with uh, all the guys with the Spanish names that we're trying to show naked people on our program. In the meantime, all of you go away. Next is Jack Bishop's program, The Intersection. He'll be doing his stuff on... Uh, uh, on uh, uh, Skype, okay, with the sign-on of GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night right after, uh, let's see, we have sports at 9 o'clock, I believe, with the franchise MC. We'll see you again tomorrow night at 10.30 Eastern Daylight T Standard Time. And in the meantime, if you see her, yeah, as always, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there. Wear a mask. Bye-bye.